Hi, this is Jasmin Reinig from Rota Yokogawa in Germany. I'm the product manager for Rotameters and I would like to introduce the new Rotameter RGN to you. The presentation will be split into several parts. One is about Rota Yokogawa, the flow center of excellence. Second part will be about Rotameter basics, how it all works, what is the flow meter principle. The third part is in detail, know your flow, the new glass Rotameter RGN. And the fourth part is about additional information. Rota Yokogawa is the flow center of excellence in Europe. The mission is to be the manufacturing and supply center for flow meters. It is also a development center for flow meters, has a flow service center, marketing and sales support for global products like Coriolis and Rotameters, service and training center, and is a DKD certified calibration facility. So what is our role in the Yokogawa flow family? For RIG, we do the global development and manufacturing center for the Coriolis mass flow meters and the variable area flow meters, the so-called rotometers. Furthermore, we are the European development and manufacturing center for the magnetic flow meters and vortex flow meters of Yokogawa. In addition, we have implemented the European sales and service center for DP flow flow elements. Now about rotometer basics. The rotometer principle is one of the oldest and most mature principles on flow meters. You have two parts to do a rotometer. You need to have a conical tube and you need to have a float. Those are the two parts and you have three forces acting on a float. One force is the weight force of the float. The second force is the friction force and the third force is the buoyancy, so-called Archimedic force. Those three forces have to be in equilibrium so you have a stable indication and flow measurement. The medium passes through the metering tube from the bottom to the top and consequently rises the float until equilibrium of the three forces has been achieved. The flow is indicated by the top of the float and can be directly read from the scale on the tube. So this also explains why rotor meters always have to be installed vertically and the flow direction is always from bottom to top. What is the reputation leadership of Yokogawa's rotometer? In 1909, the company Rota was founded in Aachen in Germany. Rota invented the rotating float for glass variable area flow meters, which was the base for the brand name Rotometer. This form has been later confirmed to be the best form of a float because it is self-stabilizing in the center of the axis. Over the century, the brand name Rotometer, which was only used for rotometers coming from Rota, has become a worldwide synonym for variable area flow meters. But in fact, the original Rotometer is now coming from Yokogawa, since Yokogawa has bought Rota. Rotometers were the first flow meters for continuous operation due to their mechanical measuring principle. This principle is the reason why they are still used. Rotometers in general don't need power. So Rota can look back and Yokogawa can look back to an experience of more than 100 years. We had a celebration in 2009 where we celebrated 100 years of accurate flow measurement on Rota meters. On the right side, you can see the picture, and this is one of the original Rota meters from a marketing brochure out from the 20s or 30s. So you see there's not so much change. We are still using the same float form like 100 years ago. Why to use a rotor meter? This is the most important slide when we talk about rotor meters because this explains why the rotor meters are still used everywhere in all industries. No external power is needed to run the meter. You just need to have the flow. So this means it's suitable for, for continuous operation. It is ideal for many fluids, e.g. gases, liquids, conductive, non-conductive, doesn't matter for steam. So we call it a general purpose flow meter, which can be used in all industries. It is easy to install with low maintenance. Therefore, it's very cost effective. And we always say, once it is installed, you can't forget it. It's a durable and reliable flow meter with uncomplicated design. As we learned earlier, we just have a conical tube and we have a float, and that's it. So it's also a secure device. The less parts you have, the less parts can fail. And we have a low pressure loss. The reduction of pump costs is a result out of this. 
Where to sell rotor meters? Rotor meters are general purpose flow meters. So you can sell them in all industries. Prime application is still local indication, whereas metal rotor meters nowadays come also with uh, 4 to 20 milliampere output signal. But the local indicator are always limit switches as min flow or max flow indication is still the main purpose of those flow meters. Many rotor meters are supplied to machine manufacturers as well, set makers, skid makers, either as a part for the production process or as a part of the machinery skid itself. If you have a look to the picture in the middle, you can see small glass rotor meters, you can see bigger glass rotor meters, and you see one small metal rotor meter, the RKD. So they go all together. Metal and glass rotor meters can always have applications where you use both in the same process, depending on the flow range. So now let's talk about the new RAGN. This is the world's first glass rotor meter suitable for seal applications. I will start with the initial situation. We have currently still two product lines running, the RAGH and the RAGG. So the existing designs were there, and we had 13 different housings. Mainly, we are using the same glass tubes in there, so it means we cover the same flow ranges, same applications. If you have a look to the design, it looks old-fashioned. It was probably 20, 25 years old, and it was also expensive. We had too many variations, which doesn't make very difficult to manufacture, but also difficult to sell and understand. We had different installation lengths depending on the flow ranges, depending on the used glass tubes and the process connections. We didn't have a complete stainless steel design. We were just prepared for European market by having EN flanges on board. And the situation is that we just sold 10 times more RAGH units than RAGG. So the conclusion was done within Yokogawa that we unify all the existing designs in one new model. The PO1, which is the release for the pre-study for a new product line, was done in February 2010. The PO2 was done in June 2010. This is the project start. I tell you this because I want to show you what is the capability of Yokogawa when we want to do something new. So, in fact, the release was done in October 2011, and if you have a look to this, it took us just one and a half years to establish a complete new product line, starting from the design process, ending up in setting up the production to be ready to produce those units. And here Yokogawa proudly presents Know Your Flow, the new glass rotor meter, RAGN. I will start now a little video just to show you how it is all built together. We used... Um, AutoCAD system for designing the RGN. So we have 3D models available. We could do this little movie just to explain how it is assembled, how it goes in uh, with limit switches. So what is the vision and the mission for the RGN? Of course, we made our thoughts about the naming. We have used several namings already. We have a RAGK product line, RAGL product line. So what letter we should use? So, of course, the, the most easiest way was to use an N for, for new. So the RAGN is new. But this is not the only message that the N has included. So, in fact, the N stands also for the next generation of Yokogawa's glass rotor meters. It stands for noteworthy and noble design. It is nasty enough to withstand all tough conditions. It is nature-saving and contributing to a sustainable future. It has a never-ending success story of the rotometer principle. It is good for non-stop measurement for your operational excellence. And, of course, it always means being number one, but only with your contribution. Let's talk about the origin and basic concept and the user benefits. We have a complete stainless steel design. So this ends up in higher corrosion resistance. We have interferences with reed switches like you have with carbon steel housings, for example. It is just state-of-the-art design. We reduce the variations. So we have only three different tubular frames instead of 13 compared to the old models. As you can see from the picture there, it's easy to handle and understand. It's cost-efficient due to less variance. And we have a consistent overall installation length for all tube sizes. 
So independent whether you're measuring small flow with the RAGN or big flow, you will always have the same installation lengths for threads. This means it is easy to replace our competition. We have taken over the standardized installation lengths of our competition for the threads, it will be 375 millimeters. For flanged versions, it will be 425 millimeters. However, we have options installed so you can replace our existing flow meters. The RAGH and the RAGG can be completely replaced with the RAGN. So you can select the options and you will have the old installation lengths available. We have simplified the stopper design. So sterile and vacuum applications are possible. We have used PVF material, which is FDA conform in standard. You can easily exchange and replace the glass tubes. What is different than before? We have different glass tube ends, therefore we renamed them. For those who are familiar with the products, the former glass tubes were named G-tubes, now they have the P-tubes name. We have established a turnable polycarbonate splinter shield. In case that the glass is breaking due to a pressure hammer in, in the line, no glass parts or aggressive medium escapes to the front or even to the rear side. If you don't use a limit switch on the unit, then the back slot will be also completely covered by the polycarbonate splinter shield. The scales will be on the tube. All glass tubes come as standard with a yellow background, so this is easy to read display. So the yellow color will, will make it much more easier for you to read it from two meters distance, for example. With each unit, we provide eight red markers where you can define the flow area as shown on the picture on the right top. So just stick them onto the polycarbonate splinter shield or onto the glass tube and you can define where the float should be. So this is fine if you don't want to know exactly what you are measuring, just to know whether the float is in general in the same, in the good range you need to. We use the weld neck flange construction. So this means we have one welding part only, independent whether we have EN flanges or ASME flanges. Uh, we use flanges from existing other flow products, so in order to um, reduce variations in general. We have designed a new fixing of limit switches. Furthermore, there's a cable connection box for simple installation available as option. Limit switches can be retrofit, and the RAGN with limit switches is suitable for seal applications. So to summarize the unique selling points, the RAGN is the world's first glass rotometer suitable for seal applications according to IEC 61508 and is compliant with the new machinery directive ISO 13849. Furthermore, Yokogawa is the only supplier in the variable area flow meter market that has a complete portfolio which is suitable for safety applications. All rotor meters with limit switches or either 4 to 20 milliampere output signal that have a seal approval do come as standard. So there's no option you have to order it, it's just the standard configuration. For further information, please refer to the safety manuals and the instruction manual. What about the RGN documentation? We have come up with a new general specification sheet. There's all information in. You will find a table where you can translate what was the old model, the RGH models, what will be the new RGN models regarding installation length so that an easy replacement is possible. With each unit that we deliver, a short instruction manual, this is one page, will be delivered. We have come up with an instruction manual which can be ordered via the model code if you want to have it on paper. We did all the modeling in 3D Autodesk Inventor, so you can download the step files if you need to implement it into your design drawings. We came up with a new spare parts concept. So the complete customer maintenance parts list is a part of the instruction manual. The scope is much smaller than it was before, and we defined spare part kits. So you will not be able to order single O-rings. You will get complete sets containing out of the stoppers, O-rings, everything that belongs to it that makes a kit. You can order calibrated cone float combinations as spares. The spare part concept will be also adapted to the existing RAGG and RAGH models after the release of the RAGN. Know your flow, the new rotometer RAGN. This was selected as slogan because of its ambiguous meaning. So for glass rotometers, it's not only valid that you can directly read the flow rate. It also is important that you can see what is going on in your pipeline. 
So this has a double functionality, and this is why we selected this slogan with the ambiguous meaning. Additional information. The sizing software is already available for download, and the RGN is implemented as known. The RGH and the RGG are relocated, but will be deleted by April 1st. What is the market situation and the competition? The glass rotometer market is in general stable and is reigned by a few suppliers. Yokogawa is the inventor and has the needed knowledge to grow in the market. We have an established product portfolio with an extensive selection to meet the customer's requirements. The RGN will mainly compete against the Crony VA40 and the Heinings V31 models. Tokyo Keizo is still offering a very large uh, selection of glass VA meters. However, they haven't worked on their portfolio for a while. Brooks is still offering their old design comparable to RAGG with the big housing, and you will mainly see Brooks in the market here in North America. Pricing is competitive and is based analysis of main competitors. If you go into a technical competitor comparison, we compare against the Krone and the Heinrichs meter, which is also sold by Cobalt. On the flow ranges, there is not much different. On the housing material, all are using stainless steel material. The coupling nuts are available in stainless steel and in galvanized steel from the competition, also in aluminium material. As connection material, we offer stainless steel, stopper material, PVDF, which is FDA conform, floats, titanium, PVDF, PTFE, and stainless steel material available. The glass tube is always made of borosilicate glass, and the process temperature range is minus 25 degrees C to plus 100 degrees C. Limit switches are, in general, B-stable ring sensors and reed switches. Connection box is available for all, and the splinter shield is standard for the Yokogawa rotometer, and for the Krone it's a half shell, and for Heinings it's optional. Suitable for seal application is only the RGN from Yokogawa. Building the future to last, Yokogawa is committed to sustaining your business, the environment, and the society. So let's have a look how the rotometer RGN does contribute to a sustainable future. Rotometers in general don't require power and are therefore sustainable. They have an unlimited lifetime, as you can see from the picture on the right side. This RGS is built in 1950 and returns to Rota Yokogawa for recalibration every couple of years. We have so far nothing exchanged. It's the original meter, it's the original glass tube, the original housing, original flown. Nothing has been changed. The, the meter is still working properly. With common applications and normal operating conditions, rotometers are maintenance-free. We didn't use any polluting materials, but only recyclable materials. The reduction of parts leads to resource conservation. The RHEN can be completely disassembled. For example, a splinter shield is not glued in, so no compounds of different materials did happen here. Furthermore, for the assembly, we don't use any lubricants. Think of your carbon footprint, so use rotometers. There's a transition period from October 2011 till end of March 2012. So we released the RGN in October 2011, and we first delivered it on 24th of October. The transition period of six months is in order to enable a smooth transfer from existing RGH, RGG design to new model. The RGG and RGH will be no longer available after April 1st in 2012. We will adapt the customer maintenance part list by end of 2011. The glass catalog will be revised with the RGN replacing the RGG till April 1st.